Hey everybody. Howdy y'all. Welcome to Cooking with Mo and Deb. Tonight Deb is going to make something really good and I cannot wait. Something that we like to have from time to time. We don't have it too often, uh, but sometimes we like to go to Ikebon or yes. some of those uh, type restaurants. Japanese restaurants. I, I love to go eat there, but I can only eat it once in a while. Yes. So if we're, a lot of sodium. It makes yes, my hands. it is. I think it's the uh, soy sauce and yes. you know that's what makes it so good. Yes. So, but uh, sometimes I'll, I'll make some fried rice at home. So, we're making some chicken fried, fried rice. rice. Chicken fried rice, y'all. So, I'm going to get started really quick, uh, It's but it's so easy. I didn't even realize everything would come together so easy mm -hmm. and so quickly. So, first okay. thing we're going to do is start a skillet for the chicken. And we've got a skillet with just a little bit of olive oil, but I've already cut up my chicken. Okay. Um, it's a boneless, skinless chicken breast. Okay. And I just put, cut it into bite-sized pieces. And I've got it in a bag. So here's the thing I wanted to show you is I like to take my olive oil and mm -hmm. pour it over my chicken. I don't put the chicken, I mean, put the olive oil in the pan and then put the chicken on it. Because right. if you put your olive oil on your chicken and then you add a seasoning, which I'm adding um, some crushed peppercorn and garlic okay. seasoning. It sticks to your chicken oh, better and it gets yeah, all over sense. your chicken. It's so, kind of like a marinade, only you it, just use an olive oil. Yes, and with, and you're just putting it on it right now. I'm mm -hmm. not going to let it set in it. Okay. Um, but my, it's not going to stick in the pan because you don't I've have got to my, use your hands on right? your chicken. You've got your it in the bag, and your chicken's not going to stick because mm -hmm. it's got plenty of olive oil on it from being yep. mixed up in the bag. Okay, and then we've got just a little, little bit in the pan here, and my pan's warmed up. So I'm going to pour this now onto into this skillet, and we'll just let it start cooking. And I'm just I'm going to add this at the end, so it can cook while I'm getting the red, rest of okay. the uh, rice together. Sounds so we're going good. to let that go. I've got it on five. Okay, maybe turn it up just a wee. Turn it up a six. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So while that's cooking, then I'll go on to the rice. Okay. So Mo has an onion. She's going to chop up for me. But first thing you need to do is get yourself a really big skillet. The biggest one you can find because it does what make a lot. What size is that? This one is a 12 inch. Okay. It doesn't have to be non-stick. It's my uh, preferred um, skillet, but you can use whatever you like. I'm all about the non-stick. I am too. A lot of people are more into um, cast iron. That's fine. It works. Now, do you want this chopped up small or how do you want yeah, it chopped? Yeah, we want it chopped up fairly small. Okay. And so first thing you do in your skillet is to add some, uh, I have sesame oil, toasted sesame oil. So I've got that added. I'm going to let that kind of warm up a little bit. But while I talk to you about rice, so I, some people have problem with getting rice done just right. I have, I don't talk to you a whole lot about Pampers Chef products, but this one is it might even be my in my top five. Really? This is my rice cooker. It comes out perfect every single time I mm. make rice. All I do is add a, a cup of rice to two cups of uh, water, put it into the microwave for ten minutes. Oh, so it's microwave perfect every time. Yeah, these are it's a there's a set of three microwave cookers. Mm -hmm. But I just love this. I never, never, never have problems getting rice done. Oh, that's good. And this is my favorite. This is my go-to rice. This is jasmine. It doesn't matter about the brand. It is usually what I pick mm -hmm. up. But we eat a lot of rice, so I like to get bags of rice instead of the boiling bags or oh, yeah. even the boxes because this is a little bit cheaper. But we, we just eat that. We eat a lot of rice. But, so, while your chicken is cooking, you have your rice cooking. So put it your rice in your rice cooker in the microwave or however you cook it and have it going while your chicken's going. And then you can start your vegetables. So now I'm ready for my vegetables. My pan's getting hot with the uh, with the sesame oil. So I'm going to now add the onion that Mo has chopped. She's gonna pour it here in the skillet. I have um, some vegetables. The recipe calls for peas and carrots. Okay. I can never find frozen peas and Just carrots. Peas and carrots. So these have corn and a little bit of green beans. Okay. They do okay. Yeah, Ready we'll take fine. it. You ready so for these onions? Onion can go in. Okay. And a and cup. And that's a medium onion, y'all. 
a cup of time. your vegetables. I have a little more than a cup because I have a lot of rice. So I'm going to go ahead and add that too. Okay. Yes, I need Not to stir that. that a little bit. Yeah. And to this, we now are going to add garlic, two cloves of garlic. So okay. I like, um, when I can, I, I'll use fresh garlic and I have a garlic uh, press. So here's how you use a garlic press. Drop that garlic clove in and squeeze it. And it has this little piece that you can scrape off that garlic. Ooh, that onion is getting, I know. getting my eyes just from that <laughs> just now. I know it. I'm going to take that. Okay. And I'm going to add one more garlic clove. We had this problem last week, didn't yes, we? Yes, we did. We were crying last week. Yes, we were. We're going to cry again tonight. Okay, there's my two cups, two garlic cloves. Garlic cloves, yes. Awesome. Okay. Okay, so we've been letting our vegetables and onions and garlic cook. And they've cooked to <coughs> where now we can add our eggs. Okay. I have, I always like to, it's two eggs, and I always like to go ahead and whisk them up. And so scoot your vegetables over to one side of your pan and go ahead and pour in your eggs. And I'm going to scramble them. And you're not going to do any tricks for me with the eggs. I wish I could on. do tricks. <laughs> I barely can get through the kitchen. <laughs> with it. So, no. No oh. tricks today. No smoking volcano onions or no. nothing like that. Sorry. Okay. Um, but you're just going to cook your egg. You know, it just okay. does, takes just a few seconds. And then I'm going to mix it in with my vegetables. And then it's going to be time to add our rice. Our rice, I cooked it earlier, but... You would be cooking it while your vegetables are cooking. You can have your rice okay. cooking in your in your um, rice cooker or however you cook your rice. So I've got my eggs and vegetables all together here. Alrighty. Now, you may want to turn that down. I, just I was just that. about to say that. Believe it or not. Um, I was thinking Great minds think a lot. Exactly. All right. Now it's time to add rice. Okay. Three cups. And I always do heaping cups. There's one Happy cup. cups. Happy cups. And there's two. And if you wanted to make a little extra, you have extra rice. This is easy to make mm. a little more than what the recipe calls for. And then the all, I mean, like the, the best ingredient for fried rice yes. is soy sauce. This takes a fourth of a cup. Let me get a fourth cup measure. Okay. My daughter always asks for extra rice when we go to the well, Japanese steakhouse. <laughs> It's the best part to me, too. I tend to add extra soy, so you do what you want to do. You okay. You cook it for you. There's a fourth of a cup. Okay. I usually put in my fourth and see how it looks and see if I need more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so Is there anything I'm else gonna, you add? Actually, I'm going to go ahead and add some more soy sauce. <laughs> okay. Since you added extra rice, that yes, might Yes, I did happy sense. rice, so let's go yes. ahead and put in some more soy. Mm. Looking um, good already, y'all. The, uh, the last thing, this is our chicken. I'm smelling that good. Chicken. I think it's done. Probably see how is. chicken looks. And yes, our chicken looks perfect. So we can add our chicken to our rice. And look, this dinner has come together in... I know, like what? 15 minutes. Has it even been 15? Probably it's been not. so, so quick. Well, you already had your rice bowl, though. I did have the rice, but... If your chicken is cooking and your rice is cooking and while you're getting your vegetables together, it can be done so quickly. Ooh, so good. you see the rice right over there? Look how good that looks. Mm -hmm. That looks ah. just yummy. All right, I'm it's going to taste the, yummy too. I'm going to add the chicken now to, I want to get something, you want to, you can turn that on. Okay. I'll get me a spatula or something to scoot. Scoot, Scoot it, it out with. Okay. Yeah. Let me just add our chicken. And then you're going to see how oh yummy my goodness. it just looks. This is going to be supper, y'all. I love it that it's so easy and yes. comes together so, so quickly. That's a great, great, quick a, and easy meal, y'all. Like, if you like more vegetables, add more vegetables. If you like mm -hmm. more soy sauce, add more soy sauce. I'm just giving you a guide, and you make it like well, now you there, like it. There is something um, I have used before at um, that I get at the grocery store called stir-fry sauce. Oh, really? And it's more of a thicker sauce. Um, got a little bit of a sweet flavor uh -huh. that you can use. Um, so what I would do now is put, 
put the lid on, turn the eye way down, and just let it cook for maybe uh, five to ten minutes. Okay. Until I've got whatever else I'm doing done, or until everybody's ready to sit down to eat. Okay. And that is dinner. Um, I didn't dinner add any salt served. because salt is there's so much salt in soy yes. that if you need salt, you can add it. But I don't but need you salt. You all probably don't either. Is chicken fried rice. Chicken fried rice. Yeah, Woohoo! Yeah. All right, we're gonna um, come back in just a few minutes and we'll do a taste test and let you know how good it tastes. Here's our chicken fried rice. Whew, yummy, made a yummy. Lot, yummy. I know this is a huge platter, y'all, and it is full. But you know what? Most of us could eat all of that. Well, Rice is, it, it even seems like it's growing as you're eating it. You know? <laughs> it does. You look down at your plate and think, oh, well. I we're going to give it a taste. That. So gonna... we're going to do a taste test. Oh. I think it has just the right amount of soy mm. on it. In it. Yeah. Me too. But if you'd like more, you could always add more. It's really good. Mm -hmm. And if my kids ate it, they would want some of that white sauce. But I'm sure we can find a recipe to make that. Probably so. I'm sure you can. But y'all, um, this is easy. Is, yum yum is yum. That what it's I, I, I'm not sure. It might be. We just call it white sauce. <laughs> we do too. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is easy, y'all. It's quick, and this will feed your whole family, I bet. Y'all give it a try. See you See later. Ya. Bye bye.